Top of the time zone, everybody. It's Freddie J here with Freddie J Sports. We're live, about to be playing some more of our My Career. We're going to go ahead and get started here. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We are currently in the Corn Ferry Tour opener at TPC Deer Run. This is now round three. Gonna go ahead and begin. Didn't get to see where we placed, but I know we was in the hunt. I believe we should be in the top three. We had our last round be hit or miss. Now we're not gonna try to miss. And here we are. 2K Sports presents the Corn Ferry Tour. At, you know their logo. And here we are at TPC Deer Run. Look at the deer. Look at it run. Look at the golf carts we won't be losing. Look at the people you won't be hearing, because it's just going to be me. You're going to be only be hearing me as we get live with that commentary. And now here we are, underway at the first tee. We're actually tied for ninth, four under for the tournament. Gonna put a fade on this. That was a bit too fast, but I think that's gonna be safely in the fairway. As long as it doesn't roll too far. Get the mouse out of the way. I hate when the mouse gets in the way. I'm not using the mouse. Get gone. Drove that, and it carried for 318. Here's our second shot. It's about 57 uh, yards. It's actually 58. With a lob wedge here. That one's a bit too fast, and that's going to be a bit too short. And now this is going to be an 18-foot putt. For birdie. Oh, so close. You could see the, the stroke and everything. Like, everything about it was going, going to the right, and it still went left. That was tough, but we walk out of there with a par, and that's better than a bogey. Moving on to the second. It's a par five, and this is where we eat. That tree might be in the way. Going for it. It's downhill, so it might have some more elevation. Ooh, that did not felt good. Let's see if that's going to have some distance. Okay, it's going to be safely on the fairway. Not the distance you wanted, but it's in the spot where you need it. On the fairway. Still got 300 yards out of it, so that's not bad. But uh, it was definitely not a good swing. And here's our second shot. This one is a doozy. Three wood with the wind going eight miles southeast. That's going to your left. Incline's not helping you. So you're going to have to aim this one by the trees and hopefully it drifts back. Oh, man, that sounded good. That might catch tree. I saw the vision, it just, like, if it had a little bit more distance, I bet it would have went through. All it needed to do was hit the rough. It didn't, and uh, so, yeah, it was going to be uh, tough regardless. 16 yards out. This is still uh, a chance to get on the regulation. Guys, again, par 5. That was very fast, and that one's looking very good, though. That's going right towards the hole. What an amazing out. Three feet. Not even three. It's one. And that will be the first birdie. Tied for six. Five under. The leaders did not start yet. They're starting later. This is a par three now. And this one's a bit uphill too. So with the false front, you don't want to play around with this.
I was a bit fast, but I think, whoa, that wind took off. So maybe that was not the club. All right, here's another chance at a good landing here. Didn't get all of it, but it's on. This is going to be a risque par right here. This is 16 feet with a bit of right to left movement. Oh, that was shanked. One step forward and two steps back. This is now for bogey if it goes down. Even that was scary. So that beautiful escape the first time around did not work the second time around. Drop back tie for seventh. Here we are, another par four. A great opportunity to make up for that. We're going to hit this mound right here. That was a good stroke. This might hit the rough at first, but it will roll back on the fairway. I was hoping it would roll a bit better, but uh, that will do. A sand wedge is the only option here. And we're going for it. That's a nice shot right there. That's going to be right at the hole. Let's see if it gets some spin back. It hopped up and stuck the landing. That's okay. Now, this one is going to be a doozy here. This one's 14 feet going right to left. The greens have been playing a bit serious today, so he's going to aim a lot better than before. Oh! And that was a great decision. However, it wasn't great enough. As it burns the edge right there, this is now for par. I believe that is what's going to be our struggle. Is to be able to just read it all the way through in regards of it just falling in the hole. Here we are at the fifth. Alright, not a lot of room on this, this tee shot. That one's a perfect, let's see if it stays in play. I mean, it's going to be playable regardless. It's just that, you know, there's not a lot of fairway space at the end if you hit a long drive. That's going to roll safely at 298. All right, now here we are. 129 yards to the flag. Going with the gap wedge. That one's a s s slow. Shout out to Beautiful Joe one time. It lands okay. Not the best shot in the world, but it is a shot indeed. On the green. Now it's going to be an uphill battle. Twenty four feet for Birdie. They're just breaking insanely hard right now. Not okay with that. That's another par. I mean, that one was understandable to not make par. Uh, not make birdie. As you know, if you put it out too far, it's going to be a, definitely a two putt. Alright, here we are at the six par four. That one's a bit fast. Let's hope that uh, stays in play. I think it'll be all right. It's a three wood after all. All right, now with a nine iron. That looks right on the money, but it looked a little bit uh, to the right.
Nicely done to put that one on. Now this is for birdie. And again, another tough shot. 22 feet. Let's see if we'll at least keep this uh, ball high. Finally one that goes ball high. Yeah, we need to do better on just getting it on our approaches. Oh, wow! These greens are something else today as we drop a shot. Now one over. And now another par three on the seventh. It's uh, 220 yards. We got the wind help pushing us up because right now we only have a three iron and I don't feel comfortable. That one looks like it's right on. Let's see if it plays right. I don't think it's going to come down. I was hoping it would come down a little bit more steep. But that's still a little bit too far with the way it's rolling. Now this is for birdie. To go back to even par for the day. And it's again another 23 feet. But this one's a lot smoother. A lot smoother. Let's see if it breaks. Oh, no. Off by a hair. And it didn't want to share. Another par. Michael O'Connor. Currently up 16 under for the tournament. Now here we're at the 8th. That one was slow. Hunting a little bit to the right. It's looking like it's going to be rough bound. Let's see if it kicks right. And it does kick correctly. And now we're back on the fairway. This one's definitely going to be a tough one. I'm not going to probably put the whole... I don't want to put the whole thing on there. That one was definitely butchered. Not a good break there. Birdie is now out of the question. And and we need those birdies. We, we really need those birdies. We're just not getting them with the way our approaches are set up. All right, let's see if we can make this for par. Five feet in the hole. Gets it done. Good save. Still one over for the round. Got a lot of more to go. Michael O'Connor getting a birdie there. 17 under through four for the tournament. And here we are at the ninth, the final hole of the front nine. Currently tied for 10th. This one definitely is going to be a big drive. I sense it. Perfect. And that might have a good roll. That is definitely going to be a good roll. That's going way past 330. Hundred and fifty four yards. And that's another perfect. Let's see if it plays correctly. It really just stayed up the hill. I really hope there's not a lot of break. Cause that was very disappointing. Let's hope this break is right. This is fourteen feet going downhill. And it's in! 
another birdie to get back to even par for the round four under for the tournament. That puts us back inside the top 10. Still a long way to go to catch Michael O'Connor. Here we are on the back nine. The 10th is a par five. Wind slapping us in the face disrespectfully. As this is a 571 yard hole. That one was definitely shanked. I would be very fortunate if this ends up kicking, but it doesn't look like it. Well, looks like it's layup time, because that is not going anywhere. Very unfortunate we have to lay up, but it's going to be really unfortunate if this still rolls back into the rough. Wow, by a hair. By a hair. This one's 123 yards, but this one's rolling bad. That's a perfect... That one might be a bit short because of the hill. Oh my goodness, it just barely creeps on. Yeah, I would definitely be going nuts here. Another long one for back-to-back -back birdies. And this one, let me tell you, no shot right here. No shot. 29 feet. Good luck. Hey, like, you was on to something. That is for sure. That was a good line, too. Now, this is for par. You don't want to miss this, though. Converts for par. A great save after a terrible tee shot. Barely landing on the green. And a long putt. Still four under for the tournament, still in the top 10. And Michael O'Connor is moving forward 19 under through the six hole right now. And this one, um, he's going to opt to go with the three wood because I don't have that length. Like, I'm not trying to hit this rough right now. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I hit fairways. So that way I can give myself a good chance. So that way I don't hit this bunker coming up. Uh, this is a uh, nine iron in hand. That's a perfect. That's looking right by the hole. It flew right over it, but it's on. That's not a lot of backspin on that. And I get, again, another long putt. This one's 31 feet. I think that was a miss hit and a half. Oh my goodness, he hold it. He almost hold it. That was probably the best look you're going to get from that distance. At least it ended up with a good par. And now a par three. Yeah, everything about this is screaming downhill. And this is the right club. My question is... Will this be the right play? Not with that swing. You better hope for a cart path. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're you're blown opportunity there. 
going with the sand wedge with the flop. Get a little bit more. That's a tough shot for par. Hopefully this goes in. Nine feet. I think that's enough for nine feet. Good hole. Terrible tee shot. Okay-ish recovery. Three pars in a row. We're not making a lot of movement right now. The past two rounds, we've only scored two under. Let's see if it stays the same here. Here we are at the 13th. Again, a bit too fast, and that's going to flirt with the sand right there. Let's see if it bounces too far. Yeah, that's going to be a bit close. Yep, it rolled right in there. It's slowed down, but not slowed enough. Going for broke with the pitching wedge. And that one's going to meet another bunker. This time directly. And now, here comes the pain. Oh, that ran away from the hole at the last seconds. For par. Another consecutive par. We might get our two birdies uh, somewhere else. But we desperately need them to at least have a chance to move up. Now we drop back to 11th. You are at the 14th. This one looks very interesting. And that one was also butchered. Any help from the mountains? Nope. Went right into the sand. Whoa, that's going way too far. All right, this is for birdie, though. Is it going to turn? It did not turn back. Look at that line, though. That looks like a, that was a terrible lineup. Had an opportunity there. Again, approach was too far. Here we are at the 15th. This is a big chance right here. Again, somehow too fast. Looks like the tempo has uh, decided to run away from us right now. This one definitely going to hit the rough. I can tell by how fast that thing is bouncing. It's only the first cut, though, so it's not going to be uh, too bad. That was probably the best swing, given... You can stop now. And it's on the French. All right. Thirty feet to the pin. Going for it. That went a little bit too wide and a little bit too short. All right, we have three holes. So at least score our personal best of 69. Through 15. 
And we're at one of the toughest par threes. And this wind is no joke either. That one's a bit fast, but I believe that wind is going to help us a bit. Or not. Okay, I thought it was going to move a little bit more. That was the safe play. We wasn't expecting a hole out, but now we got to play flawless through 17 and 18 if we want to get any improvement. We have a par 5, though. So let's see what happens. Win is not on our side, but I'm going to make sure that we get something off of this. Perfect! That one's a good ball. Hit for 280. Just shy of 300 yards. Here's our second shot. And this one looks promising. This is a three hybrid. We could probably creep this one on with a three hybrid. That one's a bit slow. That better not be bunker bound. Oh, that's going deep. This is for Eagle. Oh, no. Well, that flop was the first time it did not work out. That's really tough luck right there. And that one was horrible. Oh. I think that's it. You're done for. Great recovery, but it looks like we're going to finish this one with a bogey. You never want to get a bogey on a par 5. That will drive me nuts. I mean, it, it is driving me nuts. We're currently 3 under. We dropped a spot. We were supposed to be going... This is the first time we're not going to finish at 2 under. Alright, we're going to at least do something here. This was kind of a mid-round, honestly. Like, we didn't do, like, we, my thing is, if you make too many pars in a row, you're bound to make a bogey. And that's literally what happened. Can't blame anyone but yourself, honestly. But we assess and we move on. This one's a nice shot. Is it going to roll? It's rolling. It's rolling. You can stop right there. Stop right there. What a shot. What a perfect execution plan. Now, if it was a little bit higher, it probably rolled in. But look, look listen. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're, we're just going to listen. After that shot, we're just going to take this. Because this is, you know, yeah, it's five feet. But look at this incline but hey we made it that's probably the best thing that could happen for this round we broke even we literally had a seinfeld episode where all we did was break even nice job
We didn't go anywhere on the leaderboard. Everyone else moved around. We're still tied for 10th. Really appreciate everybody for coming out. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see ya.